Vipar Spectra recently asked if we wanted to check out their XS1000 LED grow light, and as I needed a small, quality light for the house plants I have out in the studio, I told them that I would love to check it out. Let's take a look at this super affordable light and see how well it works for our house plants and check out its PAR levels. This is a nice, compact package, and they did a really great job keeping the light padded for shipping. Once you get the foam out of the way, you can see the light itself and a box that has all of the extras inside of it. The light has a very solid set of fins on the back to help dissipate heat. You can see that there is a power cord, and on the far side is a dimmer dial. Inside of the box, you will find the power cord, two hanging ratchet straps, and a pair of hanging hardware. For the light level tests, we are taking PAR readings in a 5 foot by 5 foot square with measurements taken every 6 inches. These measurements are not taken inside of a tent as we want to be able to compare multiple different lights against each other in upcoming videos and do not want to have to worry about tent sizing for all of the measurements. Remember that a properly sized grow tent can increase your light levels by 10 to 30%, especially around the edges of the space. At a 12 inch height, the PAR reading in the center is 816, dropping off pretty hard at the outer edges, but that is to be expected with a small light so close to the floor. This light will pull 120 watts from the wall at full power, and it goes down from there as you dim the dial. At 75, it pulled 84 watts from the wall. At 50, it was pulling 53 watts. At 25, it went down to 23 watts. And finally, at minimum, it pulled 15 watts from the wall. This light does not have an on-off switch. Just turn it all the way to the left for off. Moving up to an 18-inch height, and the center reading is now at 372 par, with a much better spread out to the edges of the 2 foot by 2 foot square. We also took par readings with the light dimmed and averaged what the results were, which gives you the par X readings on the left. All of the readings shown on the screen are at full power, and to get the light levels at different dim settings, just multiply the shown par value by that number. For an example, the center reading at 18 inches is 372, but if we have the light set to 50, we would multiply it by 0.53 and get a result of 197, which will get you pretty close with all of the values shown. At a 24 inch height, the center level is down to 224 par. We are still using the Apogee SQ-420 Smart Quantum Sensor to take all of these measurements, and it is still working out really well. It is just the sensor itself and plugs into a PC to get these readings, so it is a bit more affordable than their standalone units. We will leave an Amazon affiliate link to it down below if that is something you are interested in checking out. Moving up to 30 inches and the center reading is at 150 par. Remember that placing the light in a tent will really bring up the light levels and make sure to check out some of our future videos to see those results. Although we will not be using it in a tent ourselves, I know that a lot of you are curious as to what these results would be. Getting up to 36 inches and the center light level is at 107 par. I don't think that most folks will be hanging their light this high as you can get a similar light reading by just dimming the light, but it is an option for those looking to get a great light spread to cover a larger area. Finally, with the light hung at 48 inches, the center light levels are at 64 par, with the rest of the 2 foot by 2 foot square being almost the same. This height gives you some of the best light spread to start seedlings and would really let you start a lot at once. Again though, you could get similar light levels by just leaving the light closer and dimming it. This light is going to do exactly what I want it to do and provide the perfect amount of light to our houseplants. If you are looking for a great performing, small grow light for your houseplants or cannabis, the Viper Spectra XS1000 is a great option that I can highly recommend. If you want to check out this light for yourself, we will leave a link to it in the description down below. Be sure to use code VIPARGEEKS at checkout to get a discount on your order.